TFO might be the, the, the person that makes the difference by calming things down, getting things done, getting the containment set, everybody insisting that everybody take a breath and, you know, and get things done one thing at a time. I believe that many times it's going to be the TFO. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. It could be a sergeant at the scene. It could be the, 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 guy, the officer's or deputy's partner. It could be a canine handler. It could be anybody. But <laughs> we know... And the people that are listening to this know that you're in a really unique position up there to take charge and to set that containment. It's so easy to set containment from a thousand feet. You know, on the ground, it's hard. It's possible, but it's harder. So you're going to get a lot of the load, you know, if you're over these incidents. And you better have thought about it ahead of time. What, how is it going to be different? What's my role? What am I going to do? Am I going to be the leader here? Am I going to be the one that takes charge? Am I going to be the one to calm things down? I think it's important to think about that before it happens. Because once it's happening, yeehaw, it, it, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Everybody's screaming on the radio and going 100 different directions, and, and it's not accomplishing anything. The TFO may be the person that gets that under control. And in many times, I think they should be the person. You brought yeah. something up that I really like the, the communicate or contain, communicate, coordinate, you know, and, and Jeff, with what you said in a large incident, you know, you, you can lock down a whole city. And we talked about this in our previous episode. It's not just your agency. that's going to be rolling to this. You know, it's, you're going to have the cavalry coming from all over the place. The one thing when it comes to the next step of, of communication, you know, I don't know what everyone's communication plan is different. Everyone's especially multi-county or, or crossing uh, jurisdictional county lines. Um, so as a, as a TFO, you need to start thinking at, for, a, you know, a, a communication plan. How are you going to communicate with these people? How are you going to coordinate uh, who to put where? Um, so, you know, I, I really can't offer any suggestions because everybody's communication plan is so different. But for our agency in our region, you know, we have uh, frequencies that we can use that are are commonly available to everybody. So you can in advance know I'm going to go to this frequency and know where that frequency is at in your radio bank. So when it comes time to get to that, that, that frequency, you know where you're going and it's not, it's not going to lock you up. Um, I don't know, Jack, if you guys had a, had a communications plan in place, and I know you did, but uh, maybe you can share some of that. We, we, di we did. And it just depended on where you ended up. I mean, we knew that we could end up any place. Um, and because of pursuits particularly, where it takes you wherever you're going to go. And we made sure that we had the long list of laminated frequencies. Everybody had them. So that if you end up in, uh, in San Diego, you could talk to somebody. Uh, but that, that's, I love that you brought it up, John, because that's something every air crew can do in advance. You can think about that in advance. Make sure that you do have those frequencies and you talk about it. Okay, so we end up, Ontario ends up in San Bernardino County tonight. Where's, who are we going to talk to? How are we going to communicate? Oh, it's a, oh, CHP's involved. What frequency are they on? Which color? Okay, there, that region is, those are things you can think about, you know, anytime on a rainy night. And you sit there and, and uh, do tabletops and say, what if we ended up here tonight with an officer down and we, and we, we have agencies from all over creation that are coming in to help. Are we ready for that? Number one, are we ready for that? Do we have those frequencies? And then if you do, well, which ones are the best for all of us to get on the same page on? Are there frequencies that we can do that? Yes, there are. 
you know, and you highlight those or, or you do, you just think about it before it happens. Because people that are setting perimeters for dead cops, especially, uh, and they haven't thought about it in a while, they're going to struggle. They're going to struggle. It, and, and maybe, and maybe they'll they're gonna struggle so much they won't even, they won't succeed at all because it's so different and stressful and and tough on you. So you got to cover the stuff ahead of time that you can, and that's a good example of something you can do right now. Every air crew that's listening to this can say, we're going to have that discussion my next shift. We're going to talk about frequencies, and we don't have the, those frequencies. We're going to get them. We're going to talk to our avionics guy, whoever the avionics expert is, and we're going to make sure that we have all those frequencies at a at our quick disposal. And the radio heads that are out there now are incredible. I mean, it's just phenomenal how far, how far that's come in the past few decades that it's very easy to get off a lot of frequencies loaded in there, preloaded and ready to go.